historic town of Luna, La Union, formerly known as Namak Pakan, was a beautiful, famed, 6 feet 4 inches tall statue of Our Lady, Apo Bakit of Namak Pakan. The image of her mother was represented as immaculate conception. Standing upright, her hands were outstretched, her head and eyes looking downwards with a motherly gaze. She is one of the tallest venerated and canonically crowned Marian image in the Philippines and is known as the patroness of Ilocano travelers. In this video we are seeing the beautiful history of Our Lady of Namakpakan. The wooden image of the Blessed Mother was ordered from Spain by an Augustinian priest who was a priest in the Immaculate Conception Seminary in Vigan in the year 1871. The completed statue was sent to Vigan from Spain in a galleon. While on its way, the galleon faced a strong storm, so the captain of the ship stopped at Darigueo's cove and took shelter. Later when the sea calmed down, the captain resumed the journey. But again the strong winds forced the galleon to stay there. The captain then decided to send the image of Our Lady by land and he placed the statue for shelter in an church's convent. The next morning, when the men tried to carry the statue, they couldn't move it. The men could not lift the statue of Our Lady. Father Camilo, an Augustinian priest who saw all this, interpreted that the image of the Blessed Mother wished to be enshrined in the town of Namakpakan. So the priest, together with the people, requested the other Augustinian priest who originally ordered the statue from Spain to let the image stay in the town. Upon the agreement of reimbursing the expenses incurred during the journey, the image of Our Lady was given to the town of Namakpakan. On that day, the people welcomed the Blessed Mother with feasting and enshrined the image in its present church in the year 1871. Rosa is a 13-year-old girl who was born lame. It is said one day an old lady came to her home asking for some drink and food. Rosa let her come in and told the old woman to help herself to the jar and get some water and some food in the kitchen. The old woman drank some water and before she left, she told Rosa to meet her at the church altar. When the old woman had left, Rosa began to walk. She is miraculously healed. As the old woman told her, Rosa went to the church and to her surprise, she recognized that the old woman was the Blessed Mother. She said that the old woman looked exactly like the image of the Blessed Mother. It is said that in the 1900s, an old lady came to the mountains to meet the tribal families. She gave them food and purchased their blankets. In return from them, the old woman asked them to come to the church for baptism. When the tribal people came to the church and saw the Blessed Mother's image, they said that it was the same lady who came to them and gave them food. Also the blankets that the old woman purchased was seen laying at the foot of the altar. Because Our Lady appeared to them as an old elderly woman, the people call her with love as Apo Bakit, Venerable Mother. In the year 1950, the town people saw a radiant light emanated from the statue of Our Lady filling the whole church. It is said that shortly before the death of Pope Pius XII, he saw Our Lady of Namakpakan in his dream. Upon waking, the Pope asked the Vatican staff where Namakpakan was. Since Namakpakan was a small town in Philippines, no one could provide an answer. It was only after the Pope's death when the request for coronation of the image was raised by the local church to the papacy, the answer was obtained. Due to the numerous miracles attributed to Our Lady's intercession, the image was canonically crowned on November 24th in the year 1959. It is during the coronation rites, the papal nuncio revealed to the faithful that Pope XII saw Our Lady of Namakpakan 
in his dream. The devotion to the Virgin of Namakpakan continues to grow to this day, and her feast day is celebrated on November 24th. Thank you so much for watching.